All right, Lawrence, thank you. A tense situation in the South Bay after a standoff overnight lasted well into the morning. Kit Doe tells us the suspect barricaded himself in a home when neighbors saw him standing in the street holding a gun and possibly a child. A lot of the facts out here just simply do not add up. Here's what we know so far. They removed nine people from the house. Seven of them were kids. Two of them were adults. The man with the gun was nowhere to be found. This all came to a head nine hours into the standoff with a series of explosions. Police threw concussion grenades just after dawn and began shouting commands over a bullhorn. It all began Tuesday night when police got a call of a man in the street holding a gun. And he did have a child with him. Beyond that, we're not sure what occurred after officers arrived. Those nine kids and adults stayed in the house all night long as SWAT officers surrounded the building with assault rifles, canines, and helicopters. When officers finally entered the house, the man with the gun was nowhere to be found. We know that he's associated to the residence, but we're not, uh, we have not confirmed that he actually resides there. This woman might know. She says she's the mother of the man with the gun and stayed up all night talking on the phone with police negotiators. She didn't want to talk on camera, but says he doesn't have any history of mental problems and that several of the kids in the house were his children. Right now, the man with the gun is still on the loose. Police don't know where he is. His own mother doesn't know where he is. In South San Jose, Kitto, KPIX 5. The kids and adults who were inside the house during the standoff did not want to talk on camera.